Today, the average person generates more than seven pounds of garbage daily. With New Jersey's population nearing eight and a half million, that's a lot of garbage. Even though the volume of garbage produced daily is high, the number of active landfills in New Jersey has decreased significantly between 1990 and 2006. Regulations and the not in my backyard syndrome have made it difficult to create new landfills or expand existing ones. Current landfill capacity is being used up faster than ever before. That's why recycling is a critical component of New Jersey's total waste removal program. Waste management is the leading waste removal and recycling services provider in North America with over 400 collection facilities, 280 state-of-the-art sanitary landfills, and 17 waste-to-energy plants. Additionally, Waste Management and its wholly owned subsidiary Waste Management Recycle America is the largest collector, processor, and marketer of recyclable materials in North America. Its 105 material processing facilities in North America process or broker more than 7.6 million tons of recyclable commodities each year. That's enough to fill the Empire State Building more than 11 times. The newly redesigned 110,000 square foot Waste Management Recycle America processing facility in Newark, New Jersey is at the forefront of the recycling industry. It is designed to sort, process, and then market more than 11,000 tons of recyclable materials every month, including newspaper, cardboard, aluminum, glass, and plastics. The facility is equipped with state-of-the-art recycling equipment that facilitates a process called single stream recycling. Single stream simplifies the entire recycling process by allowing residential customers to deposit recyclable paper, plastic, glass, steel, and aluminum materials into a single curbside container for collection. This holds true for commercial customers as well. Single stream can boost recycling participation rates in a community by as much as 30%. Let's examine the process of single stream recycling at the Newark facility. A truck containing the mixed recyclable materials arrives at the processing facility and after being weighed and recorded, the truck's contents are emptied onto the tipping floor. The recyclables are then loaded onto the main feed conveyor from which they will be directed to several sorting areas. The first pre-sort area is where any non-recyclable materials, such as plastic toys and large objects, are removed and discarded into the trash. The recyclable materials continue on through the facility to the first series of disc screens. These screens are specially designed pieces of equipment that consist of rows of rotating discs that push cardboard over the top while all other materials fall in between or through the discs and are redirected to another conveyor. Larger pieces of cardboard are removed by this screen and sent directly to a bunker for future bailing. The remaining recyclables that have fallen between the disc screens are then sent to the next sort area called the combination new screen. This area separates paper materials from rigid household containers. The first section of this screen removes most of the newspaper, which is then filtered onto a processing line where any materials other than newspaper are manually sorted out. The French, or finishing screen, makes the final separation of mixed fiber from rigid containers. The mixed fiber consists of items like cereal boxes, junk mail, and magazines. The sorting lines are elevated so that materials taken off the line can be stored in bunkers underneath. Newspaper includes all items normally found in your Sunday newspaper, including the inserts and advertisements. This product automatically falls into the final bunkers. When those are filled, they are fed into the baler, which compresses the newspaper material into bales and ties them automatically. After the disc screens have sorted out paper and mixed fiber, what's left, steel, glass, plastic, and aluminum, is directed to the container sorting line. The first step in this process is to manually remove any remaining paper products. The material is then fed into another screen that breaks and removes the glass. The glass material is transferred by conveyor to an outside storage area. 
Next, a magnet removes all steel cans. The remaining materials, primarily plastic containers and aluminum cans, are then sent across an eddy current separator. The eddy current creates a magnetic field that propels the aluminum cans across a diverter and into a storage bunker for baling. The remaining plastic containers are then sent to the plastic processing area. The plastic processing area uses a high-tech system that utilizes advanced optical sorting technology to identify only the plastic from other recyclables. Once the bunkers are filled, the contents are released onto conveyors that feed the baling equipment. This compresses the material and ties it into bales. These are now ready to be loaded onto trailers to be delivered to the end user. Customers who purchase recycled materials want what they buy to be free of contaminants. They do not want plastic or metal mixed in with their paper or paper mixed in with the plastic they have ordered. Single stream recycling facilities have proven they can segregate materials and remove contamination effectively. And this is at the heart of what the Newark facility produces every day. The waste disposal and recovery cycle involves multiple participants, all of whom have an interest in recovering as much as possible from the seven pounds of garbage each of us throws away daily. The success of recycling depends not only on efficient collection and effective processing, but ultimately on the willingness of consumers to participate in recycling efforts and to buy products manufactured from recycled goods. We ask that consumers keep their recyclables free of non-recyclables as their community requires. Forward-thinking businesses and cities are taking the lead by switching to single-stream recycling to simplify the process both in the home and at work. And waste management is at the forefront of this effort.